hope you're having a good morning. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of The Joy of Programming with me, Boss Rob. I've gone ahead and I've pre-painted our canvas with a nice little scene. we got some, some happy little trees, some critters, and maybe if we'd like to challenge ourselves, a couple rocks as well. You can do this by just following along and painting your own happy little, little trees and some scenery. And what we'd like to do is, well, we haven't made any mistakes, but some, some happy accidents. We've, uh, we've made some trees without any neighbors. They're not sad, still happy little trees, but we want to make sure they're not too lonely. So we're going to give them a couple friends. We want to make sure each tree, each tree's got at least two friends. In a case like this, we can add as many trees as we'd like. Got a tree here, got a tree here. You'll notice this tree, he's got two friends, but this one doesn't have any. So we'll add, add some more some more trees to our painting. When we do it like that, we've got all these trees, all of them have, have a whole bunch of friends. Now you might be saying, Boss Rob, that's very clever, but well, how did you figure out how to do it like that? It seemed easy to you, but to me, Sounds maybe kind of kind of difficult to program. Well, not to worry at all. It, it turns out it's actually quite easy. All, all you got to do is put a happy little tree anywhere your heart desires. As long as we have at least two columns and at least two rows, you can put trees everywhere, and every tree will have it'll have at least two neighbors. The only time we might run into a problem, well, if we only have one column or only one row. In a case like that, the tree can only have one neighbor at the top or one neighbor at the bottom. So that might be impossible if we start with any trees. But if we don't start with any, well, I think we're already good. We can just leave the painting as it is. We don't have to worry about any of the trees getting sad. But what if we want to challenge ourselves a bit more? What if we've got some rocks in the painting? We don't want to paint over the rocks and ruin the homes of any little, little critters or creatures. Well, if we have something like that, we might need the trees to, to wrap around and connect to each other in order to make sure they, they form a happy little group. Maybe something like this. That seems like it might be mighty tricky to, to come up with, but if we go step by step, it turns out it's not really so bad. For starters, let's, let's look at an example where instead of trying to paint more trees, we start up with all the trees we might need. If we ever have a tree where we can't give it enough friends, well, we'll, we'll not get rid of it, but we'll move it to a different painting. How about that? So, we start with this painting with a whole bunch of happy little trees. And we're going to get rid of all of the ones that don't have any neighbors with it only in one neighbor. And then we're left with a bunch of trees and all of them have at least two neighbors. And we can do this by, by storing a queue with all of the trees that that don't have enough neighbors. And when we remove a tree, we can check all of the trees next to it to see if any of them are still there and now no longer have enough neighbors. We can do this with a BFS. And now a breath first search, if you will. And that'll make sure we, we handle all of the trees that we need to. And if we ever need to remove a tree in our, our new imaginary painting, but this was a tree that was still there in the original, well then, we know we, we might run into a problem. We might need to cover our canvas with a new layer of titanium white and start all over again. But if we keep doing this, and we end up with a painting and it works, well, that'll handle the case even if we've got rocks everywhere. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed programming along with me today. Now that we have the solution idea to the problem, we can grab our keyboard, and we can just beat the devil out of it. Programmed much as our heart desires. Hopefully you get, get the problem, and I'll see you again in the next episode of The Joy of Programming with me, Boss Rob. Goodbye.